Welcome back to Luke's Daily Movie Reviews. Today, I am reviewing the movie. The first, I believe, the first adaptation from 1934 movie of The Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, this is my copy of The Count of Anne Monte Cristo by Alexander, Alexandre, Alexander Dumas, 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 whatever his name is. It is over a thousand pages. It's all, it's a thousand four hundred pages. It's almost a thousand five hundred pages. It's a long book. Long book, which somehow only becomes a, an hour and 53 minute movie. We see, I think the books so long have produced adaptations that are short by comparison. Uh, the Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, there's another version from 2002 that's about two hours. So I think there's another version from 1975. Uh, this version, we're going to read. Summary, Count of Monte Cristo, 1934, rating approved. They didn't really have ratings uh, back then. It was just approved. An hour 53 minutes, 7.4 out of 10 average. After greedy men have Edmund Dante's, and De after greedy men have Edmund Dante's unjustly imprisoned for 20 years for innocently delivering a letter entrusted to him, he escape, escapes to get his revenge on them. The director of this movie is Roland V. Lee. And my laptop's being stupid. Give it some time. It's being stupid. It's being a stupid laptop. It's circling. I don't even know what it's doing. It's doing that little circle. I can't even click anything. Go arrow down. I don't know. Is now the screen is going like foggy, or I don't. I don't know what this. I, I always have problems whenever I try to use this laptop. It just starts doing stupid shit. Hey, Leroy. Oh, knock down my phone now. See what did it do? It just kicked me out of the whole page. It circled for like a minute and then it just kicked me out of the page. Wasn't even, didn't even do anything wrong. I was just trying to scroll through the, scroll through the page. And now it won't go back. <sighs> Laptops. Don't ever get them. They're pieces of crap. Go back down to the 1934 version. Come on. I'm waiting for it to load or do anything, you know? Give me any indication that it responded to my... Leroy, don't scratch at the door. Count of Monte Cristo. Like I said, the directed by Roland V. Lee, writers Alexander Dumas, Dumas, Philip Dunn, Dan Tolerol, something. Okay, this Count of Monte Cristo stars Robert Donat, Donat as Edmund Dantes. 
Carissa Landy as Mercedes de Rosas. Louis Calhoun as Raymond de Velver Jr. Sidney Blackmer. Fernand Mondego. Raymond Walburn. Danglers. O.P. Heggy. Ab Abby Far Faria. And on and on. And so, the story of, I suppose we should read the back of this. This provides a more act uh, detailed description of the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, a popular bestseller since its first publication in 1844, The Count of Monte Cristo is one of the great page-turning thrillers of all time, set against the tumultuous years of the post-Napoleonic era, Alexandre Dumas's grand historical romance recounts the swashbuckling adventures of Edmond Dantes, a dashing young sailor falsely accused of treason. The story of his long imprisonment, dramatic escape, and carefully wrought revenge offers a vision of France that has become immortal. As Robert Louis Stevenson declared, I do not believe there is another volume ex extent where you can breathe the same unmingled un atmosphere of romance. Uh, so, there, the Count of Monte Cristo begins with some words on the screen of a small group of people who were plotting to get Napoleon off of Elba and back into power, and Dantes is given a letter that he's supposed to deliver, not knowing that it involves that, so he's accused of treason, and the people he thought were his friends lie. And he's sent to Chateau d'If, or whatever the place is called, the prison. And he's from, he's there from, I don't know, from 20 to 30 minute mark until the halfway point of the movie. So about an hour into the movie, he escapes. But for a long time, he digs with Abi Faria, a prisoner he meets there. And one day, uh, there's a cave-in, and Abby's, Abby's ribs are crushed, and he passes away. And Dante's discovers that he can disguise himself as the body, wrap himself up. And they take him out and throw him into the water, and he's able to escape. Hey, Leroy, don't do that. And he becomes, he goes back to Marseille and becomes the Count of Monte Cristo, and begins to seek vengeance on those who betrayed him. But not just vengeance, justice. And he is, is in his own words, he is uh, uncovering criminals and righting wrongs. And eventually, he's able to get two, or I think a few of, he's able to outsmart a few of them. And then after the duel... Which, uh, I'm not going to go into details too much uh, about that, but there were three, I think, I think three or four men, not conspirators, at least three or four that he, he had, he was going after. And he got at most of them uh, through, like, not death, like, outsmarting them and, you know, painting them out to be in some cases, exposing them as the criminals they are, or stuff like that, and then eventually, I think this is all part of his plan, actually not, I think about it, he has his own, the lever, letters of his own, the evidence of his own supposed guilt delivered, and revealing the Count of Monte Cristo to be the escaped felon 
Edmund Dantes, and he's arrested. What, once he gets in court, he's able to defend himself, and then he proves, in very much Perry Mason style, puts the last conspirator on the stand, and, you know, gets him. He gets him, and he... He exposes him as a criminal, and Edmund Dantes is cleared of all wrongdoing, I believe. He's cleared of all wrongdoing, he's pardoned, and he gets, he finally gets the girl he, he almost had 20 years earlier. And I really like this movie. I think I'd watch this again every, I don't know. But my cat's scratching at the door, so I gotta go, uh, so... Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Count of Monte Cristo, and I will see you next time.